Breaking on KDK News at 11, a house in Pittsburgh's uptown neighborhood on fire tonight. It's happening at Locust Street near Van Brom Street. KDK's Jen Barrasso is live at the scene with more information. Jen. Well, that's right. We just talked to a Pittsburgh Public Safety spokesperson who tells me on all three row houses are involved in this fire. Take a live look. The fire is under control, Ken, but it was quite the scene. We're going to bring up a picture of just flames shooting out of here. That spokesperson telling me that they believe the home was vacant, but the fire spread to other houses on the right and on the left. And at one point, Ken, there were issues of water pressure. That was a major concern. And another concern in this whole row, there are eight row houses. It, did the fire or water or smoke spread to other houses. Now I'm going to pull in a landlord here who owns at least two of the buildings here to tell me what he saw, what he heard and one of his tenants. Now, thank you so much for joining us here on KDKA. What do you know? What happened? Well, there was a homeless the house vacant for over a year and after a year they didn't board it up all the time and I guess homeless been going in and out and that's probably where the fire started. I have a house on the right side, which you're hosing out right now. It's gone. What's going to happen to your tenants? Well, they're right here is one of them. They're going to go to their friend's house right now. And um, the other one, they're going to Duquesne right now. Okay, one more interview. Um, I'm so sorry meeting you out of these circumstances. Uh, tell me what you saw. Yeah, so we just heard knocking on our door. Like, I answered the door, and then I ran up, and I got my roommates, and I was like, get out of the house. So we just ran out, and now we're here. Okay. Glad you're okay. So, Ken, back here live, uh, still a very active scene trying to put out hot spots. How this fire started, Ken, we're still trying to get information. Reporting live, Jennifer Barrasso, KDK News. All right, Jen, thanks.